What's going on guys, Mac Chunky here, and welcome back to another video, and in today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys how to make your microphone sound better with a simple program called Voice Meter. Now, you might not notice anything right now, but that's because I have not enabled it yet. Now, I have enabled Voice Meter. Now, as you can tell, probably already, my voice is sounding much better and much higher quality. This is done through an app, as I said, called Voice Meter. Now, this is a great app, and I did not find it myself. I found it on YouTube, and the credit goes to Gaming Careers. That is the channel. Uh, that's also the uh, person who has uh, custom settings for this, which I will get to later in this video. So, I'm going to be showing you guys how to install this program and how to make your microphone microphone blue snowball sound just like this this also works for any other microphone this is simply a profile and a app that will make your microphone sound better so stay tuned for that all right guys so we are going to be installing two applications one is called virtual audio cables and the other one is called voice meter both of these are needed to run this app and make your voice sound like mine does right now so basically you guys scroll down to the bottom here and click this download link and you will download the file and then go to the VB audio voice meter link is, links are in the, in the description and scroll down to right here and click this this is a zip package or you can download the straight exe file i like to download the zip packages so you can download that right there as well so once you guys do that you're going to have this show up uh, not all of this all this won't be here you're going to have the vb cable driver pack and voice meter setup all these other apps here will not those won't be there so what you guys want to do is right click these and select extract files or extract here or you can extract it to a separate folder or anything like that just make sure you extract both of these these packages and get these folders so this is what one one of your folders is going to look like this and the other one is going to have the actual voice meter so this is VB audio now to install VB audio you simply open it there will be all this stuff in here and then there's going to be VB cable setup and then VB cable setup 64-bit so first you have to make sure that you know if you have a 32-bit or a 64-bit operating system and to figure that out you simply go to your start menu right click on it and then click system and then it will tell you your system type. As you can see, I have a 64-bit operating system here, a 64-bit based processor. So that's how you figure it out. And if it says it's a 32-bit, then click the regular setup. If it's 64-bit, click that setup. Also, another quick thing, make sure that you run the VB cable setup in administrator mode. That's so it won't stop you from installing it. Make sure you click run as, run as administrator, click yes, and then uh, you will see install driver, but for me I see remove driver. That is how you open this, so click install driver right there. And for voice meter, as you can see, all it has is the uh, app right there. So once you extract it, there should be a clickable file, but make sure you run it in administrator mode. It should prompt you to do that as well. Alright guys, so as you can see here, I have the voice meter app open, and now I'm going to show you guys how to install the custom settings. Now, as I said, I did not make these, but uh, Gaming Careers from YouTube did this. I, I found this app from him, so I really thank him for that. So in the description, there's a link to this file here. Make sure you download it and then extract it, just like you did the other two, to uh, get this app here. So to install these custom settings, all I have to do is click Menu, and then click Load Settings, and then select the Gaming Careers B Blue Mic. That will be in your downloads folder if you have extracted it, so it looks like this. Then click open and it will load these settings for you. So guys, once you're done importing those custom settings, make sure you go to hardware input here, click the little drop down box and select your regular microphone. This is your uh, Blue Snowball, Blue Yeti, or whatever other microphone you have that you usually record off of. Then go to hardware out, click on the A1 box and select MME cable input, VB audio virtual cable, it's your virtual C, it should be cable, but make sure you select MME cable input VB audio. That's all you got to do and then you're set. Keep in mind that these settings are completely changeable. You can change the pitch and everything. These are mainly set to a deeper voice or a deeper-ish voice. So if you have a different voice, you can probably look up a different sound or uh, setting files for uh, this app. There's probably somewhere out there for different voice types or things like that. But for this, it works good for me. So after you have that set, just make sure you minimize it. It has to be open while you're using it or else it will not work. And this, as you can see, it is working on OBS. I'm using it on OBS. OBS, and it also will work on any application. All you have to do is make sure that it's set to voice meter output. So to show you guys this, I'm going to go ahead and open up Audacity. And when you're in Audacity, all you have to do is make sure that your microphone is set to voice meter output. And that's all you have to do. 
So I'm going to record a quick sentence with my regular blue snowball and then the same recording with uh, me saying the same thing through voice meters filter. All right guys, so I have finished recording on the uh, on uh, Audacity. So here is the difference between the blue snowball, this is the regular blue snowball and this is the voice meter filter. So I'll go ahead and play that. The sound you are hearing is being recorded on the blue snowball microphone. The sound you are hearing is being recorded on the blue snowball microphone. So as you guys can hear, that is a pretty big difference. Now some people might not like uh, the way it affects their voice. So as I said, you can download, there are probably many different uh, setting files out there that will, mon that will change your settings, or you can mess around with them on your own to make your voice sound just how you want. Uh, this app, this app is kind of like one of those funny voice changes you can get, like Voxel or Clownfish, but it actually makes your voice sound better instead of making it sound all funny and weird, you know. So I think this is a super helpful app. I said in a, I made a GTA live stream and I said that I was going to possibly get a Blue Yeti, and I still might do that. But this app really does help. Uh, with the with the way my voice sounds, it's really cool. The way this alters my voice makes it sound much better, especially the background noise too. If I'm silent, you can barely hear any background noise, and that's awesome. I mean, seriously though, listen to the background noise. There's just zero. Now, when I stop talking, there's actually a little bit, and then after a while, the background noise completely disappears until I make another noise. Just listen to that. complete silence until I actually start talking again. That's really cool. So anyways guys, that was just a really quick video. Uh, I hope it helped you guys out and I hope you understood. If you have any questions for me, go ahead and leave them in the comments. This can be a little bit confusing at times and I will try to my best to help you guys out. Anyways, thanks for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye. We are the music makers and we are the dreamers of dreams.